one. Well, hello, East Coast. Oh, well, hello, WCB. That's what I call you in my mind, you know. <laughs> oh, man. oh, WCB. Coast <laughs> WCB, you know, we shorten everything. I'm having a oh. one. I'm sorry, go ahead. You're having a what? I'm having a wonderful day here on the East Coast. How about you? Well, I am too. It's been kind of busy, but I am flowing with it. Isn't that what we do? <laughs> That's what we do. Because, um, you know, I'll have you know, I, I went to bed at seven this morning. <laughs> Got up at 10. So that's what we do. <laughs> I was up all night long. Yeah. yeah. I am okay. uh, seeing the end of the month. And those of us entrepreneurs know what that means. <laughs> do burning the midnight oil and the 2 a.m. oil and the 4 a.m. oil and so on and so forth. Yes. But I'm feeling great today. So yeah. we're live this morning with Coast to Coast Beauty, and we had on our agenda, what did we have on our agenda, Miss Lisa? Doing fall. And I... Oh, what, what? <laughs> what? Something... I'm sorry. What happened there? I put your name up there. There we go. So we're, our agenda is... Um, doing fall. Our agenda is doing fall, and most people think of fall, they think of falling in the fall. But hopefully, after today's show, they'll think about rolling in the fall, which is much smoother. Full uh, transition. Right, right, yeah, and that's, that's what it is. It's a transition because you know it's it's interesting. You think that it would be the winter and the summer that would be the major transition for us in terms of our bodies and spirits and mind, but it's not. It's, it's fall and spring that makes that big change that starts to happen because the time, the weather, the closeness of the sun, all of those things affect us. <sighs> it does. I know when I was growing up, my mom, excuse me, my mom, I should have bought a uncleaning. And I realized at an early um, uh, young adult that people have seasons. Um, people have seasons as well as, you know, um, you know, the, the nature of, of, of the uh, issue. But my mom, her season was spring and every the window, we wash windows with you know, soap and water and kerosene and all kind of crazy stuff. And we down, I mean, all the way down to the frame and did all of that. Well, I never wanted to do it in spring. And I found out why when I got older, because I do the same thing every fall. So my season, um, almost like a nesting season. I pray getting ready to give birth. She nest. Well, my 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 nesting season is fall. And so that's why this is my favorite time of the year. Yeah. I, I think that's true for me too, is that I start getting all domestic and I want to bake. As soon as the weather changes, I want to bake. I want to start making uh, my kids' favorite chicken dumplings. I want to start um, doing a um, uh, start putting away food for the winter. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, you know, that's the thing is our bodies are so miraculously made, and mm -hmm. and we have this internal part of us to just survive. And the survival used to dictate that we start putting away food for those months that we wouldn't have, you know, fresh vegetables and fresh meat or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's really related to how miraculously we are made. <laughs> yes, but, and, uh, I'm dealing with allergies here, but you are right. Uh, we are miraculously made with so many internal clocks and um, mechanisms. And um, it's just amazing to me. I really do believe that. I know for me, 
I couldn't stop it if I wanted to. But I have a girlfriend who, as soon as fall comes, she gets depressed. And um, it's the lack, there's a, a medical term for that, lack of the sun, she needs the sunshine. Yeah. And she doesn't feel good again until like March, April, she starts coming out of this deep, um, this 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 time period in her life where she has to really work hard to stay positive. She uses light therapy and all kind of other things to do that. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because that that is definitely of major importance because people don't recognize that they may have their season may not be the best for them is that if you're a spring person and here it is, it's fall, you're going to start sleeping more. You're going to start being maybe a little more irritated. You're going to start um, just being isolated to just all these things. And it's, and and it's all purely chemical. It's all purely chemical. So, you know, what do you do? But you learn over the years what works for you. So for me, it's that cooking and this, that, and the other, but it's, that's my alive time. <laughs> yeah. And you also learn what works for the people that are around you in your circle of influence. For instance, if you have people in your household who are the spring summer people and you're the fall, you know, you're the fall winter person, um, their, their behavior, it might just kind of, you know, their grumpiness when you're up, uh, up it might seem like they're working against you because when you're up, they're grumpy. When they, you're grumpy, they're up. And it, you could take it personally, not realizing it's the season that's doing this. And so I, I've, you know, had an co- opportunity to talk to many girlfriends, you know, that are talking about all oh, this relationship. And, and you know, uh, the situation, you can see clearly that it's just that they have different seasons. And, and 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 they need to learn how to to recognize that and work through it. Yeah, definitely. That's one thing that in working with families I've noticed is that first of all, you always have you have two different kinds of people in terms of how they deal with conflict. And mm-hmm. one person, one the one type is that they need to resolve it and talk about it now. And then you have the other person who right now <laughs> you have the other person who need to have some time, some space to process it, get it out of their mind, and then come back to it. And guess what, Lisa? <laughs> They're all in a relationship with each other, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, and I can't do it. I can't do it now. We're always in a relationship with each other. So this yeah. is so important to recognize the difference in in our makeup, you know, yeah. in, our, in a relationship, household, any kind of family relationship, because it would tear us apart thinking that they're just being, you know, they want it their way, they need control. When what it comes down to is everybody needs to compromise. Everybody gets a little bit of what they want and everybody gives has to give up a little bit of what they want. Yes, yes. I guess one of the... I, I, I think it's a blessing for me that I am what my son go into lawyer mode or I go into research mode. They use those two word terms against the problem. I go into research mode and lawyer mode. You're, and so early on, volume is coming in and out. I, I, that's nothing. Oh, okay, you said too. So I don't know if it's the platform. Same thing. My, I'm coming in and out too. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Wow. But I noticed it uh, on a broadcast, but when I went back and listened to it later, it didn't show up so much. So let's hope that's the case with this one. Let us hope. We'll see. If not, you know what? Um, I will. I've I've, I've thought about the fact that I am on Wi Fi. My office is upstairs. The um, modem is down. If we. It's a problem. I can always move my studio downstairs and do a hard wire. And that way, and there's no drop in that bad boy. I know yeah. I do. I do webinars with the company on the uh, home office on the West Coast. I always hot, hardwire my um, internet. Yeah. We can do that. Okay. 
Well, yeah, we're learning as we so, go on the job training for us. And we're having a ball doing it, though. <laughs> I know. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, we are learning as we go. And so um, I think about for me, when it comes to fall, I, I do pretty much the, the same thing. I, um, I my, my cooking changes to um, one dish dish or maybe two dish hot meals. I do homemade chicken noodle soup and then chili and, um, you know, just something that could be hot and ready when you're ready or that could be cooked ahead and ready. I love it. And then I also found that that time of the year, um, you start hearing about, you know, people in your congregation who has colds or, you know, family members who are not feeling well. And you always have an extra batch of soup or chili or stew or something that you can take over and say, here's dinner today or here's lunch today. Don't worry about it. I love, I always cook too much food and I love that function. And 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 it seems like in the fall time, it's six and sniff things like that. Well, we're both from a big family, so you're probably always used to cooking a lot. I mean, I'm only, my family was small compared to yours. I mean, I only had you know, <laughs> six, only six of us. You <laughs> and, <know. laughs> and I only oh. had two kids, so I was yeah. But it did you take well. Only six? That by today's standard, that's a big family. Doesn't come people the fourteen that were were my siblings. And so, if you were to see my my kitchen, my pantry now, oh my goodness, these big like cafeteria size pots and yeah. you know, I have like five them all going at the same time and cook up a week's worth of food. And so, yeah, I and now it's just three of us in the house, and I've never gotten away from cooking big meals and until my husband and my son look at me and say, uh, no more leftovers. Uh-uh. <laughs> give it away. Give it away. Find somebody, give it somewhere. Cook so let's let's cook something fresh. <laughs> that's that's oh. my husband now because I still, even when when I cooked with my when it was just me and my kids, I still cooked a large, you know, a large meal. I'm working, I've got several things I'm doing. So I, I wanted it to have a lot of that left leftovers. So now it's just him and I, and it's like he's he loves leftovers, but now he's saying, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not feeling that today. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you know what? Doesn't bother me. Um, I can eat the same thing five days in a row. It doesn't bother me. But I do understand different types. Okay, so we covered uh, how your food um, habits change in the fall. What else is there? Let's think about this. You have to excuse me. Uh, one other thing that happens to me, and so I am weeping. I should have bought my, my box of Kleenex over here with me. But I might have to, you know, step away from the camera, cram, camera and blow my nose every now and then. So please forgive me. But this is life. It happens in the fall. My husband has that every fall. He has such a severe allergy attack that he has to go to the doctor, get two or three um, quarter, cortisone or cortisol shots, um, inhaler, um, medication. And I mean, he, he if he doesn't get there fast enough, it morphs into bronchitis and you know can't get any oxygen it's crazy yeah no i I, but I, vegan. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand that but yeah we we've got food and so forth and all of that but we also have the you know colors colors in terms of how that looks on us what colors are what color what are your colors lisa my colors are in the category. I'm cool, and um, uh, or my my girlfriend Cherie would say I tend to um, lean toward toward jewel tones, and so um, I just feel more comfortable. I gravitate toward the maroons, the fuchsia, the purples, the reds, the deep blues. But I'm teaching myself right now to get into pastels. But first, I had to teach myself how to wear warms. 
because in the winter time, I still wanted to gravitate toward what's more. But after I got into the beauty industry, I realized that, um, you know, I was taught that you could actually, even though you might be naturally one way, you can also find colors in the on the other side of the will fit you if you know how to do it and what to look for. Right. And by adding neutral, by putting like a neutral palette and then splashing in those colors that are not generally your colors together with something that's a definitely your color, you can achieve that. I'm definitely the same. I'm, I, I am, I'm actually neutral, but I gravitate towards browns, burgundies, royal blue, maroon. I mean, yeah, I know if I want to get attention, I'm wearing something royal, royal, royal blue. <laughs> and if I want to feel really strong, burgundy, a, a Pacific shade of burgundy too. It's not just all burgundy. And that's the thing is, that's the thing about the warm colors is that there's so many shades and every shade is not the same shade that will go with everybody. So it is it is a nice investment, I think, to, to have your colors done. It, it really is. Okay, well, why don't you tell uh, the audience how they would go about doing that? Do they find someone local? Do they go, how do, would they do that? Do they Google it? What, what would they do? Well, you know, you can Google anything. <laughs> <laughs> while you talk about that a minute i've got to go and take care of my allergies <laughs> okay well, i will talk about that while you take care of your allergies sweetie oh um, yeah you can google anything anything <laughs> there's nothing you can't google <laughs> but yeah, you can go ahead and look at um um companies that do that some department stores upscale department stores offer that service some upscale women's boutiques will offer that service even some um, beauty shops will offer that and even beauty schools if you want to go on a budget will offer that kind of service because they need to teach that to their um, to the people that are in there I'm trying to switch it the other way the people that are in their um, school. So yeah, you can find out those colors and what they'll do is they'll give you actually a swatch of the, the colors. They'll make, they'll have material or sometimes paper that they will put up against your skin and you'll be able to see the difference. The difference when you have the colors that are your colors, oh my gosh, it, it makes you look like You've had like five years off of your skin. It makes your eyes look brighter. It makes you, your eyes look open. It makes you look awake and vibrant by the same token. And you feel? And you feel? You feel? Wonderful. You feel alive. You feel powerful. That, you feel um, confident. Yeah. All of that. But by the same yeah. time, when you get colors that are not your colors, it makes your eyes look closed and dull. It makes your skin look dull. It makes you feel dull and tired and lifeless and all of that. So it it mm -hmm. does make, it does make a difference. And and again, as we go into now, we're in fall. This is like the perfect opportune time to do it you, you know people start back to school you're transitioning into the holidays if you're going to start decorating things for your holidays go ahead and look at what your colors are find out what is making you feel good and what is making your environment feel good the people in your environment yeah. I am so glad you mentioned environment because oftentimes when we think about it, we just think about clothes. But if we're in um, an environment for long hours that don't um, lift us up with colors that don't lift us up, you will find that you're tired boosters. You know, you, you're just not feeling great in your environment. Okay, I had to learn that, uh, you know, other girlfriends. 
I've always had, thankfully, girlfriends who would come to my house and look around and said, this is so not you because they yeah. know me and they would get to work um, going to the store. I know I have a girlfriend, Carolyn, that lives in um, a Jersey. And when I lived in an apartment, she came over and I was like, we can't paint this place like that because, you know, we um, I'm going to have to pay. When I leave, she was like, girl, don't worry about when you leave. You need to feel good where you are right now. That girl went to the store and hooked me up. OK. And so uh, along the years, I've always had somebody. And even just this year, I went had surgery. I came home. I wasn't in the best energy, the best place mentally. <clears throat> And, and uh, my girlfriend, Cherie, came over and she was like, we're going to redo your redo your bedroom. And I put pictures up on the Internet. I mean, she it looks like a spy to this day. When I walk in that room, I feel like I just walked into an upscale hotel. I don't know how she does it, but I love it. And she used a lot of neutrals. She used a lot of neutrals, which is uh, which she said she did because uh, Kenny's the bedroom where the husband is one way and the wife is the other, you have to find that happy medium. It can't be all about you and then he doesn't feel great in there and vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to consider oh, I remember those pictures. Uh, <laughs> pictures, huh? Yeah, I do remember those pictures because I was like, oh, that is so awesome that you have somebody come in there and just take care of you like that. I was just so happy for you that you know you have I mean, you know we have to recognize we have some awesome people in our lives we, and everybody does not and you know that's part of why we're doing this show is to encourage people that may not have people in their lives that are supportive all the time so and, yeah. and and on that on that note if you can't if you, if you find some places in your area that can't your budget. There are do it. That'll show up on a Google search and also on YouTube, especially YouTube. You can find some do-it-yourself ways out there. It's not going to be as accurate or as you know, but it's a place to start. And so you always start where you are. Right. Exactly. So rest, when, when the recipes are concerned, my go-to place is Pinterest. You can use Google also. You can use um, YouTube also. But my go-to place is Pinterest for, you know, one crop, one dish meals or crock pot meals or winter, um, um, uh, what they call comfort food meals. So you can start there and just start small. You don't have to go in there and download 100 recipes. Just start with two or three, you know, that you'd like to try and move from there. Yeah, definitely. So, hey, minutes. Huh? we've covered so much in less than 30 minutes, isn't that? Yeah. But we still have one big thing to cover. Oh, I'm so excited. What is it? What is it? What is it? Do tell. <laughs> What's in your bag, coast to coast beauty style? <laughs> What's in your bag, coast to coast beauty style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how is this going to work, Miss Sharon? Tell, tell us, tell us. Well, tell this was your thing. <laughs> It's my, my, thing. <laughs> my thing. I just tweaked it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to stop talking around you because you never forget anything I say. <laughs> just, and you didn't forget when I said about <laughs> the, the first show topic. Um, and you didn't forget. Okay, so um, I said I would do a, like to do a show about what's in the bag. I did, but it was kind of more traditional. And if you, um, you know, Everybody does what's in your bag. Um, it's just like one of the most popular topics out there, and especially with videographers or bloggers. Yeah. Level. They did an ongoing thing. Think so going. What's in your bag series? And uh, we're gonna have it on the last Friday of each month. Is that correct? Okay, I don't have my notes in front of you. know I never come to this talk show with any notes. So it's going to be the last Friday of every month. We're going to do what's in your bag. And we're going to have three topics. And if you of of each of the topic or one of the topics and post it on, on Coast to Coast Beauty under that, vi that video, then um, 
secret bag C to C beauty. Say that again, please. Hashtag what's in your bag C to C beauty. Okay. Hashtag what's in your bag C to C beauty. Then we're going to do a drawing the following week and you're going to get a cool prize to it because um, if we do this ongoing, we're going to have some great topics. I did not bring my note about our first three topics. I hope you can save me, Miss West Coast Beauty. So <laughs> what were the things? <laughs> One of something sexy. Okay, so, so if you have something sexy, sexy in your bag. Um, the other one was something um, a household, a household product in your bag, right? A household product that you carry in your purse, right? That you would expect to see somewhere else in in the house, and. Mm -hmm. Something that your husband put there, or your, or let's just say something that someone else put there. It could right. be a husband, a boyfriend, a significant other. It could be a friend. Okay, because I know that when when we go out of town, girlfriends, I always put stuff in each other's bag. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my and I won't even mention all of hers because he's half of the stuff in there when we're traveling is his stuff. Thank you. I have threatened him a purse and purse and um one of these days i'm gonna follow through on that threat especially when we're traveling okay it's hard enough hauling my stuff around i have to put ears in there too <laughs> okay so the three categories again was something sexy if you have something sexy in your bag snapshot it and post it with the hashtag c to c beauty i don't know what's in your bag not, not over sexy safe sexy you know that we won't get you know, bang. Yeah, we don't want to get censored. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep it clean, boys and girls. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, 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 fade out the picture. <laughs> you know how they do when when someone is um don't want their face to be seen on TV. They blur it out a little bit. But yeah, what something sexy, a household item or something that another person puts in your bag and you carry around. So if you can have any of those things in your bag, take a snapshot of it and um, post a picture with the hashtag, um, what's in your bag, c to c beauty. And um, we will do a drawing next week. On the winners, yes. So on the this winners. is great for all of you who are watching now and for all of our our. Uh, replay viewers, you can send this in over the week. The cutoff line, of course, is going to have to be Thursday at noon because Lisa and I have to be able to have time to, you know, to make some determinations and so forth. But it, it's it's going to be fun. It's a, like I said, it's, ha it's a, a coast to coast beauty tweaked. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. And um, I'm really excited about this because as I wanted to do a What's in Your Bag series, but um, I never envisioned it being this way, but this is way more fun. And if you have a girlfriend who has something in her bag that you think falls into one of these categories, please tag her. Please share yeah. with, a, with, a, with a tag and say, um, you know, tag, you're it, so that she'll fess up and maybe be in the running for the gift. Right, right. And I'm excited about the gift that we, some of the gifts that are going to be going out. That's <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Cute gifts. I'm excited about those too. And for any of my girlfriends out there, don't you dare tell what's in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you know, that was the thing is when you when you said what's in my bag and I start thinking of what's in my bag and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't open it up my bag. But this way you can open up what you want to open up. You know, you have total control as to what what's seen and what's not seen. So yes. that's that's nice. yes. So we are at thirty minutes at third little over a few minutes, but you know we need to. With you know, when you're dealing with technology, we need to make sure you guys understand our time is 11 
ish. <laughs> Thank you. PM ish Eastern time. Yes. Every week we're seeing that there's some kind of technical thing that we just have no control over. And um, we're going to get that. We're going to master that. But nevertheless, you know, put your notifications on. That way you are advised that we are here and ready to go. And we appreciate all of you. The, um, and and I must say thank you. The replays have been um, phenomenal, um, much more than we had expected. We are so pleased. We are so thankful. And we appreciate you. And so if you know someone who is struggling right now, um, I will say this. Um, <laughs> yes, somebody, let's just go viral quickly. Okay, so, um, so I would say that... Um, Oh my God, I lost my thought. Yes. I would like to do a share, and I'm t this is my first time telling you this. I would like to do a show on on girlfriends because there are studies that say that women have what less and less girlfriends as time goes on. And it, I believe that girlfriends are a vital need. And I believe that having a community is a vital a need. And so if you know of someone out there who is struggling, don't it needs girlfriends, need a place for, with positive people in it, please share this with them or please direct them to this show because that's what we're here for so that nobody out there feels alone. Right, exactly. And if you're one of those people that fall is a struggle for you in terms of physically, emotionally, and so on. I am going to come on later and post the number for the National Suicide um, Hotline because sometimes just being able to talk about it, you know, one of the, I work having worked in that field for many years, I know that you know you hear people say things like, "Well, if they're talking about it, they're not really feeling like it," and that's not true. Um, people can talk about it and have to, you know, get their mind to where they actually feel they need to act on or where they don't feel like they have any other options or whatever. But there are other options and we want to make sure that people have that resource available. So I will post that number. I actually will post also the one for Los Angeles County because I'm more familiar with that. If Lisa, if you have access to one in your area, I'll po we can post that as well. But I think the national one would be best because they can connect you to wherever you need services and, and so forth because you are of value. And sometimes our thoughts don't always relay that to us. And we need to, you know, Here's someone else telling us that we can do something else and make other choices. Yeah. I know for me, um, once I realized my girlfriend, I'm getting a little choked up. Once I realized that she had this issue, every winter without fail, I'll send her two or three cards in the mail. Even if you can call and say, hey, I was thinking about you, or you can send something in the mail. Mail is good because they can keep it. And I say, I'm thinking about you. I care about you. Call me if you need me. That is so invaluable. You can't put a price tag on it. I don't want to get teared up here, but I, it's a real, real serious and very real, 100% real problem for a lot of people. And um, my heart goes out to you. And if you need to know somebody who needs to, to, to hear this, then please share. Thank you. <laughs> no, <that don't. laughs> Sorry. <sighs> so we are closing down now with this, our edition of Coast to Coast Beauty for this week. Next week, we're going to be talking about how to be a businesswoman, a family woman, an all-around woman, <laughs> super woman, and not burn out. Yes. So this is dedicated to you, super women. I I have the cake myself. I know Lisa has the cake, and I have a yes on my chest. Yes. So <laughs> that we're going to talk about super women and how how to support us because and how to support ourselves because guess what we're doing way too much 
could do a way to it. So yeah. you have people that you know need to hear this message. Mm -hmm. Questions or comments, please send them in ahead of time and we will tackle them. So, so here we are at the end of another web episode. So this is your girl, the E. C B. It's easier for me to say yours because I say it all the time in my head. The E C B thing. Until next time. And this is Sharon D. The C. The peace. <laughs> the w West Beauty. W C B. W C B. W C B. You should see my wall behind me with all my little notes of like. <laughs> oh, another one up there. Off. Oh, love you guys. <laughs> see you next week. And we will post the things that we promised to post and post those pictures of what's in your bag. <laughs> oh, I'm going to post one too. I'm going to post one. Oh, yeah. I've got a, I've got one that I will post. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great week. And See you next week. Yeah. Bye.